right guys let's see this question this is also of course previous gate question but this is important for other all competitive examinations let's see the core of two winding transformer is subjected to magnetic flux variation shown in figure below some magnetic flux variation they given the waveform of the secondary induced emf will be the secondary induced emf here secondary having 500 number of tons and here generally what is the formula for emf emf e is equals to minus n into d phi by dt of course we need to calculate the emf in three categories one two and three this is for example first compound wind second and third for example we need to draw the this graph in three situations in first situation what is the change in flux the change in flux is 0.009 the change in time is 0.06 what is the change in flux from 0 to this much nothing but the change is positive so so n2 is nothing but 500 number of turns the change in flux is 0.009 0.009 and change in time is 0.06 0.06 so let's calculate minus 500 into let's see guys don't confuse here this is 9 by 1000 this is 6 by 100 it is clear it is clear 3 zeros 2 zeros 2 zeros 2 zeros cancel 3 2s are 3 3s are next what is the answer minus 500 into 3 out of 2 into 10 2 into 10 so the answer is minus 75 volts in first case the induced emf is minus 75 volts where is the answer minus 75 volts a fourth option is not there actually fourth option is not there i given only three options we need to take the fourth options so how it will be i will draw here in first case in first case i got minus 75 volts minus 75 volts what about in the second case let's see in the second case what is the change what is the change in flux there is no change in flux it's this point and at this point in both the cases there is no change in flux if there is no change in flux there is no emf induced there is no emf induced because in the second case for example this is e1 e2 is equals to minus n into d phi by dt which is equals to minus n into 0 by dt which is equals to 0 so there is no emf induced in the second case there is no emf induced in the second case coming to the third case coming to the third case here the change in flux is as usual change in flux is 0.009 but the change in time is 0.02 yes or no guys what is the change in time here 0.12 minus 0.1 0.12 minus 0.1 this is 2 1 minus 1 0 0 what is the change in time the change in time is 0.02 let's calculate here e3 is equals to minus n into change in flux change in flux i taking this i am taking this with minus why this is minus because this is reducing in manner this is increasing in manner but this is reducing in manner so minus 0 0.009 by 0 0.02 let's calculate e3 is equals to minus 500 into actually minus minus cancel now this is plus 9 by 1000 2 by 100 two zeros two zeros this zero this zero cancel two ones are two twenty five are twenty five nines are two twenty five volts here in positive 225 volts this is our this is our uh, waveform actually this is the given positive and negative it should be in reverse that is our fourth option that is our fourth option how it will be it will be like this this is the emf induced in this and here very important thing is that 
the flux waveform and emf waveform if they given if the flux waveform is triangle how will be the emf waveform see here when the when the e flux change is in positive direction ultimately the emf will be in the negative direction here also see the flux is changing in positive direction so the emf in negative direction now the flux is in negative direction now the emf in positive direction now the flux is in positive direction now the emf in negative direction nothing but if the flux is triangle then the emf waveform is a square sir if the flux is a square if the flux is a square then can you tell me if the flux is a square see here suddenly the flux increased so suddenly the emf will be reduced from here to here no change no emf suddenly flux reduced so suddenly the flux will increase from here to here no change suddenly flux increased suddenly emf reduced like a spikes when the flux waveform is a square this will be a pulsed wave this will be a pulsed wave sir if the dc flux given if the dc flux given there is no change in flux if there is no change in flux there will be no change in there will be no emf induced if dc flux given there is no emf induced in the transformer like a questions are important for us this is somewhat depth question sir of course but you have to remember because of course they may not ask you this much of question but they will try to ask you like a concluded questions right let's go for next question seventh question a transformer takes a current of 0.6 amperes and observes 64 watts when the primary connected to its supply voltage of 200 volts 50 hertz secondary being open circuited the iron loss component of current simply they given i naught they given w naught yes do you know w naught is equal to v i naught cos pi naught v i naught cos pi naught w naught they given v they given and i naught cos pi naught we need to calculate because the the last component last component nothing but i w what is i w value the i w value i naught cos pi naught is a simple one actually so let's calculate 4 phi za 4 16 za so i naught cos pi naught which is equals to i w i w is equals to 16 out of 50 nothing but 8 out of 25 8 out of 25 8 out of 25 nothing but 0 0.2 za sorry 3 za phi za 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.3 sorry 0 0.32 right 0 0.32 is your answer because 0 0.3 nothing but 75 5 will be there 5 will be the 50 25 ones are 25 twos are that's it very simple question but here the thing is that the iron loss component nothing but i naught cos pi naught you need to remember this point that is enough to solve this question let's see the next question the emf induced in the secondary winding of a 50 hertz transformer having thousand tons 1000 tons frequency given as 50 the secondary voltage they given 222 volts the maximum flux density they given 0 0.5 tesla 0 0.5 tesla then they are asking that cross sectional area so what is the answer e is equals to 4.44 into b max into a into f into n E, e is the 220, 4.44 I am writing as 444 by 100, B max is the 0 0.1, area we need to calculate, frequency 50, number of tons 1000, 1000, 1000 gets cancelled, 222 1s are, 222 2s are, so area is equals to, area is equals to 1 by 100. 1 by 100 0 0.01 0 0.01 meter square 
0.01 meter square is your answer. 0.01 meter square is our answer. Right guys? Right guys? Is it okay? Next one. Next one. Let's go for next question. The below figure shows uh, two coils with coupling coefficient of 0 0.6. Coupling coefficients of 0 0.6. L1 they given and L2 they given. Then the mutual inductance. What is the formula for mutual inductance? K into square root L1 L2. K multiplied with square root of L1 and L2. L1 and L2. Nothing but 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100 is nothing but 1. So, root 1 is the 1 only. Root 1 is the 1 only. So, the answer is 0 0.6. Its mutual inductance also 0 0.6. A simple question. Next question. A primary turns of 444 volts by 220 volts single phase transformer with a core cross sectional area 100 centimeter square. And maximum flux density of 1.0 T is. They are asking primary number of tons. So take E1. E1 is equals to 4.44 into B max into A n into F into N. That is 444 is equals to 444 by 100 into B maximum 1 Tesla. B maximum 1 Tesla into area 100 centimeter square centimeter square nothing but 1 by 100 square 1 by 100 meter square and the frequency is a 50 and number of turns we need to calculate this 100 this 100 51s 52 444 444 so what is number of turns the number of tons we need this 100 into 2, 200. 200 number of tons is your answer. A simple question, sir.